What's up guys, Xander back again in Call of Duty Black Ops 2, bringing you another achievement guide. Today we'll be going for Awaken the Gazebo. This is kind of a long video, so buckle in. So right off the bat, as soon as you spawn, jump down the hole, grab the Remington chalk, and draw it on the wall. So for those of you who don't know, this achievement requires you to pack a punch a weapon on round one without using the bank or the weapons locker. So the way you do this is by using the weapon chalk. So you can see there I got a thousand points just for drawing that chalk on the wall. And there are several more to be had. But there's a very specific way you have to go about getting them. Which I will show you in this video. So immediately jump down and get your gentle giant friend out. Um, you need him later on. He'll help you access different locations. Which will allow you to access more areas to get points. So really quick shout out to my friend Tristan. He's in this video helping me out. He's the one who showed me this method, so add a kid, Dark Knight, 10x, whatever, whatever your gamer tag is. Anyway, so at this point, just kill the zombies. There's usually six or seven zombies that spawn in round one. Um, just be very cautious when you're killing them. If there looks like there's only one left, you can see here we're leaving this guy right now. But I believe we actually eventually find out that there is another one, so then I kill him. Shoot them in the legs to maximize points, and then finish them with a knife. Now... You'll need to build the trample steam. So I'm showing you the parts. Same as in Die Rise. The flagpole, which was on the right in that barrel. The engine, which was in that bookshelf. Go upstairs on the scaffolding for... Scaffolding? I guess a railing for the metal grate. And then upstairs again on the table for the like accordion push bag. Now this will also help you to get to different areas. So you'll definitely need to do this. Now I'm going to show you the route that you're going to need to run more times than it, it it's even enjoyable it's horrible actually it's like a 10 minute process and then the ending is very difficult and it's very easy to mess up so go up on top of where the gentle giant spawns run across jump down run through this tunnel just keep going there will be a little gap up ahead it's pretty dark in here so jump across this gap come down through the saloon and then out onto the um, balcony and then I promise you can make this jump if you sprint jump across and when you go downstairs in this place there will be plenty of weapon chalks grab one of them and then run on over to a location I will show you all the locations where the question marks are where you're able to draw the weapon chalks on so here's the first one it's really probably the easiest one to get to so I just did it first and go ahead and draw this on so for the rest of the video, we'll speed through this process. Just run in the loop again. I figured I'd leave it in just so you guys could get the hang of it and kind of know where you need to go. It makes the video a lot longer though, but what are you going to do? Grab another one. Run it back over. This is the second location where you can draw a weapon on the wall. Just scribbling away. So now I made a cut here. Once you get to the saloon, at some point, you're going to need to buy this debris. Unless the booze spawn back in the cell with the giant, it spawned in the saloon. And so, you're going to need it later on. So, open that, and you can go down and get the booze later. But don't grab it right away until you've drawn all the weapon chalks. Grab this one. Now, this is a little change. You'll need the trample steam. Jump onto this roof. Put the trample steam as far forward as you can. Aim it at that little gap. Now, what's helpful here is my friend is kiting the zombie away from my trample steam. If the zombie jumps on your trample steam, it will kill it. And so, it's nice to have a buddy to kind of keep the zombie away from him and just kind of run around. But not very fun for the buddy. Anyway, you can see here I'm at 4,000 points. Go back around on the loop. Yeah. So, I cut the loop and I just grabbed a weapon chalk. Now, you can use your trample steam, come up on the higher roof. Put it on the corner and aim it at that little gap in the railing. And you can trample steam over to the saloon to save you a trip. There is a, another question mark here. It's all about efficiency over here. And then jump back over. Oh, I lied. Grab the booze. And then jump back over and pick up your trample steam again. Once again, my friend is kiting the zombie away from it so he doesn't kill himself on it. And as long as you leave him as a full zombie, not a crawler... He will just keep respawning in the different areas that you move around to. So it won't be a problem. Oh, another quick note that I didn't show in the video, I don't think. Because my friend turned it on. Is you need to turn on the power. Which can be found in the candy shop. 
you can go from the saloon roof and jump across to the building. It's in the front over across from where I just drew that last question mark and then just turn on the power. Maybe it's in the video, but I can't remember if Tristan turned it on or I did. There were several attempts that were done, so it wasn't really clean. I th it's v There's a lot of margin for error. The next part at the end after you've drawn all the little gaps on is very annoying. So I bring in the last location right there. It's in the top of the church. So running back over. Now this part is important. You need your trample steam again. Run over next to the candy shop in the general store. And this gap right here that normally you need the giant to break through. You can actually just trample steam over the top of. So once your trample steam sets itself. Get on it. You'll fly over the top. And then you can go back around to run your loop again. And again. And again. It's kind of very tedious process. But it's like a 35 gamer score achievement. So not too shabby. You know, speeding it up so you don't have to keep watching it over and over again. Go back down, get the last weapon chalk. Now, this also is important. You're going to want to buy this gun. It's at the very uh, jump off the roof from the shop with all the chalks on it. It's the B32R. It's a three-round burst. And when you get into the mansion with all the crazy, scary ladies, um, that will come in handy because it will... <coughs> excuse me. It will kill them in one three-round burst if you hit them like in the chest area. And you're definitely going to want to kill them because if they touch you, you will um, lose your points. And the achievement will no longer be able to be attained by you. So you can see here I now have 6,500 points, which is good because I need 1,000 to open the store. Now it's kind of dark in the video, but there's a little rock over here in the fences. Set your trample steam up right in front of it. And you can use it to triple steam over the rock and get through the fence to the mansion. Just like that. So there's a cut here because when I was doing that run with Tristan, we might have died, lost our points. So move very quickly through the house. There will be a first lady on the staircase. Another one will spawn in this room. Run up. Aim at the bookshelf because a lady will come out. Wait till she comes. Sprint in. Another lady will come from the end of the hallway. Get around on your left. Yeah, right there. Coming out. Now from this next room. And then quickly sprint out of the house. And you're going to want to turn around. Now the reason is there are still more ladies that are going to be spawning. So you just wait here. They'll just come out of there. You can see I'm a little paranoid. I check my right every now and then. But they'll come out of the house. And once one drops a perk bottle like that, you'll know that you've killed the last one. And you're home free. Now just run through the maze takes me a little while here randomly generates so it isn't very helpful for you to watch me go through it because it's different every time and find your way to the gazebo once you get to the gazebo you can see here i have 5950 points which is enough to pack a bunch of weapon so at some point i'll get there jesus all right there we go so run into the gazebo you can see stamina up over there you can fall down the hole it doesn't matter and then you will get to the Pack-A-Punch machine. Put your weapon in, let it Pack-A-Punch, and once you pick it up, the achievement will pop, and you'll have unlocked Awakening Gazebo for 30 gamer score. Pretty, not the most difficult achievement, but it's also um, pretty tricky. Uh, if you have a friend to do it with, that's great. If not, uh, it's doable by yourself, as you can see. When I got it, I did it by myself. All right, hope this guide was helpful, and thanks for watching.